if you, like me, have been waiting a very, very long time for Forza Motorsport, the wait is finally over and it is now upon us and they have still not implemented native triple screen support. Well done, Turn 10. However, we're going to look at how to set up triples as best we can within the constraints of the system. We'll look at how to set triple monitors if you haven't done already, how to calculate your field of view correctly for other simulators, and more importantly, how to get Forza Motorsport working as well as it can, optimizing the field of view and the other settings within the game to get it looking as best as it can with your triple monitor setup. Sit back, buckle up, we're going for a ride. Now, just to make you aware, there will be some repetition from my other triple screen setup videos, as I wanted all of these instructional videos to be a one-stop shop. So if you don't need a section, please skip ahead using the chapter markers below. Setting up NVIDIA Surround. First, you are going to want to go to the Start menu and open up NVIDIA Control Panel. Here, you are going to want to click on Configure Surround, select Span Displays with Surround, and then hit Configure. This will open the setup surround window and at this point you must note the order of your screens. Here they are displayed in large white numbers. Working from left to right they are numbered 2, 3 and 1. Now click enable surround. The screens will go black while this enables. At this point drag the monitors in the display window into the correct order you noted before. 2, 3 and 1. Now click apply to order the screens correctly. Now we need to correct the alignment for the bezels, and this is done with these two figures. This is done visually from where you will sit, so increase the numbers until it looks correct. For me, this number sits at 44. Once this is set, click Apply again. The screen will once again go black as this sets. Now go to the Resolution menu and select Bezel Corrected Resolution. Make a note of this now. Once selected, click Apply again, and then Surround with Bezel Correct Resolution will be enabled. Calculating the correct field of view, FOV. To calculate this, we are going to need some help from a free online tool available at this address. I will put the link in the description below. Once opened, you will be presented with this window. Here, you can adjust your parameters to obtain your desired field of view. For me, I wanted to make sure that all of my peripheral vision was covered, so I aimed for 180 degrees. Firstly, make sure your screen size is set to 16.9, and then input your screen size, minus 32 inches. Select triple screens from the drop-down menu. You will then need to input your bezel thickness. I'll show you how to measure this later in the video. You can then play around with your distance from the screen, and see the required monitor angle to achieve your desired FOV. In my case, I felt that a 60 degree angle would work well with my room and a distance of 62 centimeters away from the monitor felt comfortable. But you can play around with these figures as you desire, but once selected, you must stick to them. To better understand this, let's look at this on a diagram. To achieve a 180 degree field of vision, my eye line needs to be in line with the most proximal edge of the monitor, the circle here illustrating my head. My screen size is 32 inches, adjust this for your own size. The distance from screen is the distance from my eyes to the panel monitor. To achieve my required field of vision, I need to be 62 centimeters away, give or take. And finally, I must make sure that my triple screen angle is set to 60 degrees. This angle will differ for yourself depending on what you got in the tool. Here the angle is taken from a line drawn from the back of the middle monitor to the angle formed by the back of the left and right monitor. Here this is written in pink. To measure this practically, you will need a digital angle measure, or in this case, a set square that has an angle measurer on it. Make sure this is lined up with the middle of the monitor when viewed from the top as illustrated here. Repeat this for the left and right monitor and be as accurate as possible. How to measure your monitors. Measuring up is relatively easy and we need to take two further measurements. Firstly, we need to measure the monitor's total width. Finally, you want to measure your bezel's width. This is the distance from the outermost portion of the monitor to the start of the image on your monitor. Here, mine measured 0.7 centimeters. How to optimize Forza Motorsport for triple monitors. Once you've booted up Forza Motorsport, I recommend setting up a test drive so you can fiddle with the camera settings to your heart's content. 
From here, I want you to hit Escape, which will send you to the Pause menu. From here, I want you to hit Settings. The first thing we need to do is make sure that our screen resolution is set correctly, so head to the Basic Video tab at the top. Here, as you can see, my bezel corrected resolution has been inputted correctly, in this case 7768 by 1440, and I recommend setting full screen to on. Once that's all set up, hit apply, and then head to the gameplay and HUD tab. Now the camera settings are buried all the way at the bottom here, so scroll down, and then we'll be met by the camera menu. There's a couple of options for camera view. Now there's two that are relevant for an internal camera, and that there's driver view and there's cockpit view. The cockpit view includes the steering wheel, which for me breaks the immersion. The driver view removes that. It's also a little bit easier to set up the FOV correctly, so I recommend using driver. Now I'm gonna present you with two options, and I want to hear what you think in the comments below. If you want to maximize the screen real estate and have the most information, the best compromise is 40. Okay, so if we take the slider and drag this all the way up to 40, you should see that, as you can see, you can see a little bit of the rear view mirror, you can see the left wing mirror, and you can also see the right wing mirror. However, it's a little bit sat back, and it's just, you don't get a really good, you don't get the best sense of speed. If you want the most accurate FOV you can within the game, my recommendation would be dragging that bar all the way down to 25. And as you can see, things are a little bit closer, but it's a little bit more true to life, and you get a slightly less of that warping effect on the sides in both your left and your right monitor. Ultimately, it's down to personal preference. My personal preference would be setting this to 25, but let me know what you think in the comments below. So if all things have gone well and you followed the instructions correctly, you should now have gone from this to this. Enjoy Forza Motorsport. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you wish Turn 10 employed real native support? Yes, obvious answer. If you found value in this, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye for now.